These three figurines represent one of the longest standing sister city programs in the world, that of Arl France in York, Pennsylvania. These Santons were donated to the History Center in 1976 by the York Twinning Association. The York Twinning Association began in 1954 when the cities of York, Pennsylvania and Arl France were formally joined in the sister city program. After World War II, figuring out ways to foster cross-cultural connections and friendly international relationships became a prominent concern. In France, Jean-Marie Bresson, a POW during World War II, developed a plan for twinning cities and formed a new organization called Bilingual World. Meanwhile in York, Dr. Victoria Lyles had a similar thought. As the then director of York City Elementary Education, she introduced a French language program that became an integral part of the school curriculum. Dr. Lyle's innovative spirit caught the attention of the U.S. Commissioner of Education, who recommended the school district of the City of York to participate in the experimental twinning program. On July 4, 1954, York and Arl were officially inaugurated as Twin Cities. The first official group from York visited Arl in 1956, and since then, people from both cities have exchanged visits on an annual basis. The highlight of this exchange program occurred in 1976, when 200 Frenchmen visited York through the YTA program to celebrate the bicentennial of the United States. At this time, construction was newly completed on the reproduction of the Colonial Courthouse, and the Santons, along with other objects from Arl, were donated from members of the York Twinning Association to commemorate this event. Santons, meaning little saints, are hand-painted clay figurines traditional to Provence. They were first created in the late 1700s during the French Revolution as a counter-revolutionary statement. When the churches were closed and the display of nativity scenes were banned, People began to secretly create small figurines in their own homes in order to carry on their beloved tradition. The figures often represent local people and their various traits of work. At first, Santons were mainly made in Marseille. However, the practice eventually moved to the Aubagne region of Provence, where the clay was more durable. Early types of Santons were air-dried, making them brittle and susceptible to breakage. But today, the creation of Santons has evolved to give these figures a much longer lifespan. The typical process for creating a Santon involves these steps. First, the artist will mold the figure from clay. Then, they let the figurine air dry and finish it in a kiln. Some artists also soak the figurine in gelatin to make the surface harder in order to create a better base for painting. The final step is decorating, where the artist either hand paints and or clothes the Santon. Today, creating Santons is a highly competitive craft where artists continue to carry on family traditions and techniques passed down through generations. The Santons we have displayed here are stamped M. Shav. Marius Shav is a celebrated Obanya Santon maker. Born in 1909, Shav was self-taught and created his first models in 1935. He created Santons for over 75 years, and today the family tradition is carried on by his grandson. Since these Santons are ceramic and are clothed, optimal storage conditions include an environment where they are protected from fluctuations in temperature and humidity, and where they are in minimal contact with dust, pollutants, and insects. Extreme changes in temperature can promote the development of cracks. High temperatures can also darken any stains that might exist on the surface. To avoid this, these figurines will be kept in a temperature-controlled environment that stays around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and away from any heat sources such as direct sunlight, warm lights, or heating vents. To prevent the fabric from damage, we will gently wrap the figurines in tissue and then place them in a sealed archival quality bag. The Santons will then be placed in an acid-free box that is padded with foam to cushion the ceramics from any abrasions or breaking. <laughs>